I'm going to have a look at using Dell Support Assist Operating System Recovery to reinstall Windows 10 OEM. Now at current, I don't recommend using this because it installs English US only and it also installs an old build of Windows 10. But this video will demonstrate the technologies behind the new UFI BIOS and the ability to reinstall the operating system from it. So let's go to the Dell website and download the Dell OS recovery tool. This will give us a support assist ISO, which we can use to reinstall the operating system. So if we accept the user account control and then select install, we're taken to the Windows 10 desktop. So we can launch the Dell OS recovery tool and we can select get started and then start. So we can either select other computer and put a service tag and then select next or select this computer. I'm actually going to use another computer so I'm going to change and I'm going to input a service tag. Okay, so the two downloads offered are the support assist ISO and also the Dell recovery drive ISO. Now I actually don't recommend using either of these downloads. I find the installation media from Microsoft to be superior. But for this video, we're going to use the support assist OS recovery ISO. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to go and make a bootable USB. Right, so this download was relatively small and it was relatively quick to make this bootable USB. So what I'm going to do now is switch computer to the one that I want to install it on. The first thing I'm going to do is press F2 to get to the UFI BIOS setup and I'm going to go to maintenance and then I'm going to go to data wipe. I'm going to select wipe on next boot. I'm going to select OK and then I'm going to select no and then exit. So when it boots, the um, Dell Data Wipe should display. So I'm going to select Continue and then I'm going to select Erase. And it will wipe the NVMe, SSD and internal SATA SSD on the system. And if you've got a mechanical hard drive in the second drive bay, then it will take a much longer time than this video. Okay, so once it's wiped, I'm going to select OK. And then it will try and boot and it will be unable to boot because there'll be no operating system. So let's insert this USB flash drive and power it up and press F12. So we should see the UFI boot menu, secure boot should be on and the boot mode should be UFI. And we select our USB flash drive and boot from it. So we see the Dell logo and then we see the support OS recovery logo and it passes secure boot without any issues. Okay, so what we can do now is select restore now and then it'll ask us to connect to the internet And then we can select done. Okay, so it will ask us whether we want to use cloud restore. I'm just going to select next and then skip. And then I'm going to select yes. So obviously my data is lost because I securely wiped the drives. And it asks for a reason why I'm using this tool. So let's just say I'm recycling or gifting this PC because I can't see the I just want to clean install option. So let's select next. It will ask us to select our drives. So let's select my NVMe, SSD and select next. So now what the Dell OS recovery tool 
is going to do is it's going to download a Windows 10 image from Dell. And you'll notice the main problem that I have with this support assist OS recovery is that it's not asked me for any options. So basically it's just downloaded um, English US image and I can't select any other language such as English UK. Okay, so now it's downloaded. It will verify the contents and apply the image. Okay, so we get the following screen and it tells us to remove the bootable USB and select restart. So let's go ahead and do this. So we get the Dell splash screen and it gets ready. And we're logged in as administrator. And then the support assist OS recovery continues. And then it restarts. Okay, and now we need to connect to the internet. So let's go ahead and do this. And let's select next. Okay, so we'll be taken to the license agreement screen. And it's different from a Dell factory image because it's only a Microsoft license agreement. It doesn't have a Dell Microsoft license agreement screen. So let's set up for personal use. And here's going to be another gripe. So I'm going to try and log in with a Microsoft account. However, the keyboard layout is American. So basically when I type in at, it's going to type in something else. So I need to mess about to get that symbol. Okay, rant over, select create pin. I'm going to just create a pin and then select okay. So I'll skip this. Um, I'll just use default settings. And then I'm into the final stages of the Windows 10 setup. Right, so the support assist has this wee wizard but let's go and right click the start button and select system and check our windows version and we see it's 1803 so we're basically a year behind or the mainstream build is 1809 so it wants us to go and check for updates which we're going to do and we've got the updates And then basically we need to restart the device. So it'll restart, it'll install these updates and this wizard will continue. And the wizard will then tell us that we need to use Dell update or Dell command because we're on an Optiplex. So they're basically the same product. Dell update is for the Inspiron and XPS systems and Dell command is for the latitude, precision, and optiplex systems. So we just select launch, and this launches Dell update. And it goes ahead and installs on the drivers. So as I said, it's not a factory image because we basically have to run Dell update and install on the drivers. So you're better off just downloading the Windows 10, it'll be out in basically a week or two. Version 1903 ISO from Microsoft, clean installing with that, and then using Dell update or Dell command to update your system drivers. I see no advantage in using Dell's tools to clean install Windows 10 on a Dell system at this moment in time.